Hi! Well, in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I attach uh, bunny ears. And I am going to, this bunny is going to have floppy ears, so I'm going to show you how I attach his ears. I like to use upholstery thread, and I'm going to get about a 24 inch length. Tie a knot in one end, and then I thread the needle with the other. I'm going to use a single length of thread with this. I'm not going to double it. Now I'm going to take the ear. I've already sewn it. It was open here. And I am going to just whip stitch this closed. Some people like to ladder stitch it closed. I haven't found... Uh, I've tried both ways and I am fine with the whip stitch way. It's a little easier and it turns out looking the same the way I do it. Now I would rather start at the front of the ear. So I'm going to, um, and where I ended up there, it was going to be at the back. So I'm going to just do a couple of more stitches to bring my thread at the back, at the back to the front. <laughs> it gets confusing. And then I'm going to take one stitch, have a loop, pull it through. And I, there's a, this little, okay. And now I'm just going to take a look and see where I, where I want it to be. I think here I'm going to put it along the gusset seam. Seems to look very good there. And I want it about in the center of the head. You play around with the ear position on your bunny and see what look you prefer. But that's what I have decided. Okay, next step is to stitch this in place. Now the first thing I'm going to do is whip stitch the ear in place. For I'm uh, pulling out some of the fur here. I'm going to go down into the head and out at the ear. I want to come out and secure the corner of the ear. And I'll just work my way down the ear. And take these pins out because uh, the ear is in place enough and they are in my way.
Okay, now I'm going to take one more stitch in this back corner of the ear. And I'm going to bring my needle through that loop before tightening it. Okay, and I'm going to tug on it. Make sure it's in, okay. It's pretty secure. Now I'm going to turn the, the bear around, or the bunny. <laughs> and now I'm going to ladder stitch it, the ear, as I go to the front. So we're going to, uh, the thread is coming out at the ear. So we're going to go into the head, go down and take a little stitch and come up. And now we're going to go into the ear. Go down, take a little stitch and come up. And then we're going to go back into the head. And now I'm going to finish coming up from the head. Oops, I don't think like I got a good bite on that. So I'm going to pull the needle out and go in again. So I'm going down into the head, come out. There. And I'm coming out right near the ear there. And now I want to pull this tight. And then I'll take a little stitch here. Take a stitch in the head. And bring my needle through that loop a couple times. And now I'm going to thread one of my longer needles onto the thread. Sorry about that noise, it's the puppy's bone. Here, and then we're going to take the needle and bring it down into the head all the way out the back before snipping it. And take our brush and we have a nice floppy ear. Now you'll do the same with this ear and let me just show you how I try to, to match it up. Okay, this is how I'm going to try to, well, how I match up the ear. We'll get another needle here. I'm going to eyeball it first. Now I do remember that I did have it on the side seam. So I'm going to just pull some of that fur up and try to eyeball it here. Like that. Now I'm going to take a look at it from this angle. Uh, it looks even. We get this other side pinned down and take another look at it. That does look even, so now I'm going to go ahead and stitch the second ear in place the same way I stitched the first one. Okay, now we have a bunny that can hear. Last thing to do for the bunny 
that is different from working on a bear is he needs his fluffy white cotton tail.